everyone, welcome to How to Ask Kavana. Today, is your neighbor complaining about your wheat eater? Don't worry, we've got silent nylon online. <laughs> David, how are you doing? Good, don't give me yo. No, good. I'm, gl I'm glad to see you brought the battery machine so we're not making a lot of noise today. Yeah, look at that, look at that. We just take what a battery, a... we insert it in there, and, and um, if you can look at this, just quickly, give me two seconds, I'll be back in shot just now. David, just take that out for us. All right, me. so this was the battery that we used for the chainsaw, right? Yes, 100%. Okay. Would you like that one? Yeah, please. Okay, just I'll get rid of this. Yeah, get, get rid of that one. Not too far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and there you go. End of story. We are done with our brush cutter. Let me get, get that there. Okay, now the first problem is I need to get some nylon wrap on this thing. How? Okay, so Andre, a lot of people don't realize this but you get different types of nylon rope. Yep. So you get the standard one that you buy at your convenience store. Yep. It's a normal round, smooth one. I brought something with you for you today. Can you see this is slightly different? I thought it was Balto for a woman like there. No, unfortunately not. So let me just see here quickly. But this thing has got like almost four different strands, it looks like, that's yes. type. It's 12 and or twisted and melted into each other. Yes, it's twisted. What's the and reason this, for that? This is called silent nylon line. Now, okay. especially when you're working with battery products, you're going to get a longer life out of your battery by using silent nylon line. Why? Because it has less air resistance. Okay. Didn't you sure that? that's not a marketing gimmick? No, I'm afraid that's not a marketing gimmick. Now, I know most people battle to put nylon line on. Now, the advantage of a twisted nylon line is it's more stable in the air. If yeah. you think about uh, air resistance, a round object moves up and down because it's trying to get through the air. Now we've put a twist in it. What well, happens now? It basically disturbs the air and it gets a, 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 a channel. Yeah, a channel. So of now your nylon back. line is more stable. That so if you want to do edges, use a silent nylon line. But that's not the question you asked. You asked, how do we put this stuff on there? Exactly. Right. So we get a length. Right, and it depends on what size head you've got, how long this would be. Now, you're going to hold that, that's our center point. Yep. And simply what we're going to do is you see this, there's a little indentation there. There's the same one on the opposite side. We're gonna push those in and simply oh. remove the cover. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna have to keep this still, otherwise the cover's gonna fall off. Okay, I'll, I'll, give, my, I'll give my best. <laughs> okay, good. Now we got a reel in the middle. Yep. Now, if you have a look at the reel, it actually has an arrow that points in a direction. Yes. Now that's the direction we're going to be putting the nylon line. Ah. So if you'll pass me the nylon line, please. Thank you. You'll notice inside here there's a little cavity. And the nylon line simply hooks on there and we can now roll up both sides. Ah. And once we've rolled it up, thank goodness we didn't take the full length. Yeah, but luckily. Luckily. But now the problem is we've got lines sitting on both sides. Okay. Now, if I had to let this go, what would happen? No, it will just unwind. Okay. If you look on the underside of this, it's got a little kippy. Yes. Right. We're going to hook that one in there. Okay. Oops. You hear a click? Yes. We take this one around. We go, whoops. And we're going to hook it in there. So it goes in there. And then on also in, it, in the middle, there's also a little kippy. Okay. A, Thing there. So now I can let go of the nylon line without it. Yeah, but, other, but un unwinding. Unwinding. That's, yeah, correct. That's the right word. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we do is you'll notice on this cover it's got two openings. Yes. We're simply going to place that in the middle and line up those two openings with our nylon line and pull it through there. Okay. Once we put that, remember those little holes on the side? We're going to put that over there. And now we're simply going to now it's clip it in. together. Okay, but now the one is longer than the other one. What Correct. Now? That's why you have a blade on your, on yeah. your guard. So that when this happens, because remember, we measured them evenly. Yes. Although this one twisted half a twist more. Okay. So that's simply going to trim it down there. But now you have a problem. Let's say both ends are this short. Okay. How do what? we extend this? No clue. All right, so you hold that one. Now, it's called a tap and go. Yes. So we're simply going to tap the head yes. on the ground. And then you go. And then it goes. Tap and tap go. Tap and go. 
Now we've got a lot of line to waste, eh? I yeah, can cut it off. I'm almost there. Almost I'm actually, there. Actually, I'm there. You're yeah. there. Ooh. I've got a little bit of less to waste. Yep. And then, um, and that's, that's how we do it. And when, when, if, do I understand this correctly? When this line gets eaten off, when you've got cut enough grass, then you tap and go, boom, boom. End and of story. And on going. Awesome. Until your line's up, put in new line. Put in new line. There you go. And the nice thing about this is, is the silent line. So yeah. you're going to bother the neighbor less. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> awesome. David, thank you very much. Thank so, you. Silent nylon line. How, to, how do you get the nylon line onto your brush cutter? Um, this is it from How to Ask Havana. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.